today is all about experimenting. So it's using different materials. Uh, you can draw, you can paint, you could build. Um, I'm going to collage because just before class I sat down and I, had, I just have all these magazines and papers. So I'm probably going to do a fish using these. But you don't have to follow along with me at all. Your picture is your own. So far this week, we've done three types of pictures. We did a realistic style dog. In fact, here, hold on one second. Let me grab them for us. They're right here. There we go. So, so far in class this week, we have done a very realistic looking dog with shading. We learned how to do a more, more cartoon style cat, which is Tom from Tom and Jerry. And we did a more illustrative style rabbit using lots of texture marks. So you could do something in any of these three styles, more realistic style, more cartoon style, or illustrative style. Or if you want to do a totally different medium like painting or collage or clay, it's totally up to you. Artist's choice. Welcome, Kat. Glad, you, uh, glad to see you. All right. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm going to switch to my other camera. Like I said, I think I'm going to do collage just because it's something different. I happen to really like collage, so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna do a fish. So I'm, and one of the things that I really like about collage is that we always get all these really beautiful magazines in the mail, <laughs> and I, they always go in the trash. But I don't like throwing things out, so I think I might try to cut out a fish. Um, but it's totally up to you. Like I said, you can follow along with what I'm doing. You can do your own. You're welcome to go ahead and get started whenever you're ready. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Emily. All right. So, yeah, go ahead. I can't wait to see what some of you guys are going to do. I like especially some of you had some really interesting choices of, like, ferrets and shrimp. Um, who is this? Oh, hi, Cameron. Cameron, what are you working on? What, are you, what kind of animal are you going to do? You know what you want to do, Cameron, or no, you're not sure? You, if you're not sure, you can, you're, you can always uh, think about it and tell us later. I think he's oh, wait, I see your mouth moving. But Say that again, I, Scott. I don't know if his audio works. I think he might be typing it in the chat. Oh, OK, gotcha, OK. Cool. All right. Sorry, Cameron, your, your audio, you can type it in the chat, okay? <laughs> so I'm just, I cut out this kind of like fishy shape. Maybe I'll find different color from a different magazine for, uh, oh, maybe I'll do a, a second fish shape. And I'll add in some, uh, maybe I'll add in some, uh, some fins. I've always liked collage. Collage has always been a, a fun, a fun medium for me. So I feel like there's so much you can do with it. And if you don't like something, you just, you just don't glue it down. <laughs> Cameron says he's, he's making a polar bear. A polar bear, that's awesome. Well, you guys are going wild with the pets. Did you know that I saw, I saw an article today of some, uh, somebody who, somewhere in the United States, I don't remember exactly where, but there was a... Um, uh, they saw a uh, an albino or a white grizz a grizzly bear, which is really, really, really rare. Like, because grizzly bears are almost always brown, um, and it's actually not albino. It's like a recessive gene, but it was a really rare that somebody caught it on camera of this grizzly that is completely white, which I think is really, really neat because it's so rare. All right, so these these fish need something. A spirit bear. Oh, is is that your seer spirit? That's a good question. A spirit bear. Is that what a white bear is called? A spirit bear? Or it, sorry, you have to type it in, Cameron. Your your audio is not working. Spirit bear. That's cool. White black. Okay, white uh polar polar bears. Okay. Okay. Or white grizzly bears, you think? Called spirit bears? I've never heard that, but that's really neat. I'll have to look that up. 
Oh, Emma, you're right. So a white black bear is called a spirit bear. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. That's really interesting, Cameron Emmer. That, I, um, I'll have to like look that up. I wonder, I wonder who coined that term. Oh, a white black bear. A white black bear is called. Okay, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. I, I understand now. Um, huh, that's really interesting. Well, this was, this was, uh, I know that it was really rare because it was a grizzly bear. I don't think it was a black bear. And that's why it was extra like special because like they're just incredibly, incredibly rare. It's actually, it's not, it's not a polar bear. <laughs> uh, Cause that, that was addressed in the article I read. Um, I read that, yeah, that was, uh, they, they, they said that it was definitely not um, a different type of animal. It was, it was definitely a, a, uh, a grizzly. And it's, apparently it's like a recessive gene. So you know how your eyes, everybody has different color eyes in the color of your eyes is dependent on, um, on your, the genes and your, that your mom and dad or your parents gave you. So apparently people can have, um, so, so I mean, if both of your parents had brown eyes, then then the brown eyes are dominant. Both of your parents have blue eyes. It's all about genes. So, but apparently bears have a gene that they can be white, but it's very, very rare. <laughs> all right, so I'm just adding, adding some things. So maybe these are like bubbles. Maybe these are like fish eggs. I hope these kind of look like fish eggs. Maybe I want to add in some at the bottom, some like seaweed coming up. I definitely need to give these. I definitely need to give these. Say that again, Scott. Angela just joined us. Oh, okay. Hi, Angela. I definitely need to give these uh, these fish some features, some eyes and some um, some fins for sure. So I'm going to find some colors that will work on top of this. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. Kind of a cool page. Well, I just always tear different pages out when I find pictures that have lots of bright color, like that, like that. Is this for some fins? So I'm curious. I'm curious if we are a, if we're, if we're a cat, cat group or a dog group. Let's take a poll. Let's take a poll. Uh, let's take a poll and see if, uh, if, if, we're cat, if we're cat people or dog people. So <laughs> if you, if you want to join in, if you want to join in, the, uh, you can write in the comments. You can say, tell, say if you uh, prefer cats or if you prefer dogs. So I see it. Whoa, I see one cat, no, two cats. <laughs> Kate said cat, Emma said dog. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. I, have to, I, have to, I have to tally these up. I have to go back and tally them up. <laughs> cats here, we'll do, a, we'll do a little tally over here. We'll go cats, dogs. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna start at the top of the comments. <laughs> So Megan says cats, Samantha says dogs, Gina says dogs, Megan said cats, Kate said cats, Emmer says dog, Liliana, uh, Liliana or Heather Rose says dog, and Liliana says cats, I like you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, Megan, your, <laughs> is your C, your C isn't working, is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, oh, dats, Megan, you're saying dats, like cats and dogs. Sorry, I didn't understand that comment. I thought that you were just mistyping cats. <laughs> that, 
All right, so here, I already gave you one for cats, Megan. I'll give you another one for dogs. So your votes are canceling each other out, okay? <laughs> All right, um, who, uh, oh, okay, so I see another vote for dogs. I see Isaac has a vote for cats. Um, <laughs> Kate helped clear up Megan's deaths. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, I saw that, um, yeah, I saw that vote for dogs. Sophia has cats. Okay, Vienna and Victoria, dog time three. Okay, one, two, three, three more votes for dogs. Oh, I think I got yours. I got, um, I got this vote. Scott is a cat person. Okay, you've, everybody's doing, I have to keep track of who, if you've already, if you've already voted, you can, don't vote again. <laughs> Kate, you already voted. Uh, Megan, you already voted. <laughs> um, Soren, is your vote for, for cats? Let's see, Kate, so you, Kate, you already voted. I got I'm voting for both of them, cats and dogs. So you want both? Okay, so I'll put a vote on both, cat and dog, one for each of you. So your dad's like uh, Megan is. Um, I already see, I already got your vote, um, Kaden. You voted a bunch. Um, can your four cats please their votes, Scott? <laughs> um, all right, so Megan, wait, if you really, so wait, Megan, are you really choosing? You say cats? You say cats? Okay, all right, then, you, then your vote is for cats. Cats, and I'm giving you one more, so then your two votes before counted, like, didn't, they're, uh, they're discounted. Um, all right, so then Dylan hasn't voted. Dylan goes dog. Cassidy goes dog. <laughs> There's so many comments. Cat and Laura, all right, yeah, so cat, cat of course loves cats. That makes sense. Oh, I, I messed up the hashtags there, but that's okay. And, um, and dog and cat for Laura, so you want one for each? Okay, man, these voting, you guys are making voting hard. <laughs> okay, and Cassidy, you already voted. All right, and then my vote is dog. So, so far, the dogs are winning. We have 10, 14 right now. I don't know if everybody voted, but we have 14. Running total is 14 versus um, 10. <laughs> So that's our uh, that's our, our our tally right right now. But if anybody hasn't voted and they want to chime in, they're more than welcome to. <laughs> Does anybody have any unique an uh, pets? So like, I'm wondering, I had like they had any like so when I was a kid, I had what did I have? I had a bunny rabbit named Nibbles, and I also had I had some goldfish, and I had lots of dogs. Mary, Megan, you really want a ferret? Yeah, my brother had a ferret when he was in college. Let me give these, these fish some like oversized eyes. You want a crocodile? <laughs> is, that, is that true? Oh my gosh. You used to have a pet frog named Pesto for real, Kate? I never knew that. That's so cute. Pesto. I never knew you guys had a, a pet frog. Was this like a class pet or a pet you had at home? A fish, wait, what's, oh, oh is a, a crocodile illegal in California? Probably, there's a lot of different animals. Oh, you're drawing a seahorse. We, we were babysitting a goldfish and the goldfish, like, it was like there was stuff on the goldfish that killed the frog. Oh, weird, oh no, that's sad. Oh, ferrets are illegal in California. I didn't know that. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, I know that they can get out and like, they can escape really easily. And they might be bad. They might be, they might hurt some like crops or something. I don't know what ferrets eat. But my brother wasn't living in California. My brother was living in Virginia. So yeah, <laughs> I know he had one. Hmm. Soren's hand is raised. Hi, Soren. What's up? I want a pet bird. Yeah? 
Yeah. What, what kind of bird? Like a parrot or a parakeet? You know? I don't know. Like a normal bird that's like yellow. Oh, that's cute. You know what? I really want chickens. I really want chickens. And, and actually, I really want a duck, too. Like Lily. Lily's raising ducks. I don't know if she's here today. But I've always wanted it, like, to raise ducks. I think they're super cute, especially as ducklings. <laughs> Megan, you, your family had a chinchilla when you were before you were born. That's really cool. My husband, oh, your dad had chicken. Had a, had a chicken. Awesome. Yeah. Um, my husband's family grew up with. They still have chickens, but um, they also have. Um, uh, oh, you want an ermine? Oh my, that's an interesting one. That's a really interesting one, Eliana Heather Rose. Oh, let's see your bunny, Kate. I know you just got one. Let's see. Where is, oh, look at him. He's so cute. Thanks, Scott. Oh, a little white bunny. He's super sweet. His name is Fluffy. Fluffy? That's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> When I was, so I taught, I was a, a, cl a classroom teacher for a while and we raised, we hatched chicks and they were super cute. They were really, really fun to hatch. Super, super fun. Um, Cause all the kids got to see them, got to see them coming out of the shell. We had an incubator and everything. Here's Kat and Laura. Yeah, Cat Laura, let's see. What's up, girls? Oh, there we go. Um, Ginger, come here. Thank you. You're showing us your pets. Yes, if I can get her to stay still long enough. What is she? Is she a cat or is she a dog? Oh, she's a dog. She's a certain shepherd mix. She's got like a, she almost like a foxtail. <laughs> Oh, yeah. she's sweet. She's sweet. I like how one ear is like tilted down too. It's always yeah. a little floppy. It gets more pointy, but it's always a little floppy. <laughs> I kind of like the floppy ears. I think that gives her character. <laughs> if it's a little bit too hard, you can use a tiny bit of water. <laughs> awesome. My little brother is joining the clan and Flora is trying to teach him how to use the air dry clay. <laughs> Oh, oh, you girls are using clay. Awesome. I was hoping somebody would. Very cool. So my, my fish are going to be really weirdly have weird oversized eyes. Just because, <laughs> just because I think they look funny that way. So your, yeah, your animals, your, your pets, your pets can be um, uh, more realistic. They can be less realistic. It's totally up to you guys. Hey, um, Isaac, you said la uh, yesterday you were doing a cricket. Are you still doing a cricket drawing? I don't know if Isaac's here. I just kind of called him out. These eyes need, I think, a little spark. So I'm going to give them a little highlight. And little dots inside. Here's Charlotte. Highlights. Yeah, Charlotte. What are you working on, Charlotte? I'm working on a little teddy bear. And oh, look at that puppy. He's so sweet. Or she. He or she. It's the same one that Laura says. Aw. It's a she. It's a she. It's a she. It's a she. Aw. That's, she's so sweet that she'll just, like, hang out there. My, my puppy would be jumping all over. <laughs> um. Yeah, unless unless it's like nighttime, my 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 dog is kind of hyperactive. <laughs> he needs lots of lots of attention, lots of uh, frisbee time. Hmm. All right. So, who had the weirdest the weirdest pet name? So I'll tell you a story about one of the, my pets as a kid. As a kid, I had. I think Scott, you've already heard the story, but as a growing up, I had a. a <laughs> oh, Kate, Kate knows my dog. My dog's name is Gazer. Um, and yeah, and Phoebe and her sister is Phoebe and they, they do go crazy. 
Um, oh, you had a pet named Burpee. That's a really funny name. <laughs> I like the name Burpee. <laughs> so when I was a kid, um, we had a dog and the dogs, my mom really liked these, um, these candles and they're jawbreakers. They're these hard candies and um, they, uh, they're really like kind of like, like they're hot, they're hot and spicy. My mom really, really liked them. So when we got our puppy, our dog, she named our dog Fireball. <laughs> And it was a great name, but we shortened her name to Fire a lot, which normally was fine because we all knew what we meant when we were calling Fire. Like, Fire, come here. Um, but my grandmother was staying with us one time, and she comes running out of her bedroom in her nightgown because she overhears my mother screaming out the door, Fire, Fire, come here, Fire. <laughs> So that was probably the weirdest dog name that we've had. What other super fin? I'm looking at your uh, the name of your animals. So Burpee is a really funny name. Super fish fin, it's a cute one. Wow, Cameron, one of your dogs is 21 years old. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, but you also had a no. Oh, you both you had a beta fish, and its name was Burpee. That's cute. I like that name. <laughs> Does anybody else have any funny, funny fish names or funny, not fish names, funny dog names or aunt, pet names? Whoa, you have four. Oh, you told us that before, Cameron. I remember like being amazed. You have 50, you must have like a really big aquarium, Cameron, because you have so many fish. Black widow. Whoa, really, Samantha? Oh, I'd be scared. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet name, June, as for a dog. That's a very sweet name. I like that one. Yeah. Does anybody else have any weird names for they name their pets? Let's see. We also had, we also had, I had a bunny and her name was Nibbles. I think it was a her. I don't really know actually if it was a her or him. What other pets did I have growing up? We had Tom and Jerry. We had, yeah, we had Tom and Jerry. We had Fireball, Nibbles. I think that's about it. That might be about it. Might have been all the pets I had. I think I had, I had, I might have had some goldfish, but we never had really good luck with goldfish. I remember there was like a, the school I went to always ran like a school fair and they always had like a, a competition where you like, if you got a, if you put a, 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 like a bouncy ball in your, in like a, like, I don't know, it was like a fair game where it was like a bouncy ball. And if it went into like these cups, they gave you a goldfish. So we'd always come home with goldfish, but I don't think they ever lived very long. So I don't remember what their names were. You have a wasp. <laughs> so quick fact about me. I am terrified of wasps. <laughs> like, I do not like wasps. <laughs> Bees I'm okay with, but not wasps. Wasps are mean. Um, your fish is named Jeffy. That's a sweet name too, Gina. <laughs> What's up, the wasp? <laughs> oh, you have a big wasp nest on your patio. Oh, oh, it gives me shivers even thinking about it. You, creepy. Yeah, we had we had lots of wasps growing up. I think that's why I'm scared of them. <laughs> yeah. But bees are okay. Bees bees are nice and friendly and they do good things for our for our for our environment and you know, the world. But I don't know, there's something about wasps. They don't do the same kind of things that bees do. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start to glue my stuff down. Wait. Scott, you recently raised a baby possum. Oh, his name is Poe. That's so cute. I yeah, love it. He was, he was probably about the size, smaller than a tennis ball. And so I would take food out for him. Um, I'd get a plate of, uh, fix a plate of fruit and things. And uh, every single night until he grew up. Oh, wow. That's really... That's really sweet. Did you uh, did you ever see his family or 
Yeah. Um, I used to see his mom and the sibling, but they disappeared. But Aww. he stuck around. Oh. And and I put a little camera out there, so I have a uh, uh, nature show with Poe. I would make little <laughs> videos every day. <laughs> I love that nature show with Poe. That's really sweet. Um, does he ever? Have you seen him recently? Has he ever come back? Actually, I just saw him um, last night or the night before. Um, he's an adult now. Yeah. And um, they grow up pretty fast. And I just saw him at, at, on the hill next to the house. That's really cute. That's true. I love that. I love that you raised this possum, baby. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, so many comments. I have to go back to. Have I ever been stung by a wasp, Emma? Yes, I have. That's why I'm scared of them. <laughs> They're, yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> um, Japanese hornets? Okay. Ooh. Your friends are raising two baby mouse because the mom's mouse is hurt. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, you have four dogs. Yeah, you said that. I know you said that before, Cameron. I, I, it's amazing that you have so many pets. Um, you have like seven wasp hives. <laughs> it gives me like shivers every time. You're, he had an angry, very angry tarantula. How did you know he was angry? How do you know a tarantula is angry? I don't know how you can tell. <laughs> um, oh, mice, autocorrect, yeah, yeah. You were stung by a wasp too. Caden, yeah, they're not fun. It's not a fun feeling. It happens though. I just avoid it. <laughs> my, 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 my thing is if I see a wasp, I just walk in the other direction. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm going this way. My husband wants to have be a beehive. He wants to, we want, we want chickens and we want like a beehive. And I, I I'd say okay to a, a, a beehive because bees are really good for the, good for the earth. We need more bees. Cause they, they pollinate all our planet, all our, our plants. And there's like lots of things that are happening that like the beehives keep, the colonies keep collapsing. So it's good to have like backyard beehives. What's that? Um, I watch a coyote. Oh, Megan, a tarantula came up behind you and your friend while you're sitting on your lawn watching scary movie trailers. <laughs> that's, that's pretty apt. <laughs> that's, a, that's a moment. <laughs> You'll remember that one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I don't know how this, how this turned into like, bees because it's really supposed to be about pets <laughs> i guess i guess you can have bees as a pet i never really considered a bee to be a pet more just of like a, a friendly helpful insight a friendly help 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 their helpful insect um all right oh my my husband growing up i was gonna say he had a um oh what kind of it was like a really big lizard that he had oh my gosh i can't even remember what type of lizard it was if you said it i would remember it it was it was a really really big one it was like not a komodo dragon but oh he had a really big a really big um it was just, I don't, I, it grew to be iguana. like it wasn't an iguana it, a, it was a i don't think it was a bearded dragon megan i can't remember what kind of lizard it was all i remember is that it was really big and I, uh, he, uh, I, I never saw it. He had it when he was, when he was a kid, but he asked, he was like, he, he, he brought it up like a couple of years ago and he's like, what if we got another lizard? And then my answer to that was no, <laughs> I didn't want a lizard. I, I like, I like my pets to be fluffy. <laughs> I want them to be, I want them to be a furry. I, I guess I'd make an exception for a fish, but Yeah. Lizards, lizards kind of creep me out. There's something very Jurassic about them. They just look like they're dinosaurs roaming the house. Oh, I wish I remembered what, what kind of what kind of a lizard it was. All I remember is it was yeah, Jurassic Park. I'm actually um, watching Jurassic World this evening. Are you? Nice. Yeah. 
Movie night. I watched Jurassic Park yesterday, and I've been watching the whole entire series because I wanted to. Yeah, I actually haven't seen Jurassic World. I, I have to go back and I'll have to see that one. If anybody has any work in progress they want to share, uh, let us know. Like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm sitting on this for a little while. I might add to it, but pretty happy with my, my fish collage with the fish eggs and the bubbles. I added in some seaweed on the bottom. Here's Kat and Laura. Oh, let's see. I'm Benji. I just haven't edited the name yet because my hands are covered in clay. Oh, yeah, no worries. Show us what you got. Show us what you got so far. It's supposed to be a mug bear. I'm still working on it. Awesome. I love that you're and using clay. Benji, he's making a soccer playing player playing soccer. Now. No. That was Benji, Joe. I'm working oh, on a cat. Right. What are you making? I gotta go clean it. And Laura decided to change from last thing. Oh, okay. Hey, Benji. Thank you. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for sharing. Sophia, I see your hand is raised. What are you working on? Um, a rabbit, and then this is the head. So you're also using clay. What, what, what kind of clay are you using? Uh, I'm using oven bake clay. Oh, nice. He, oh, he's kind of, that's gonna that's the head of the rabbit. He he looks a little yeah. bit like like Lilo right now, like from Lilo or is it Stitch? Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I think it's just the big eyes and the big ears. You're gonna, you're gonna do a body for him. Uh, yeah, I'm working on his little body right now. Oh, cute! I love it. Awesome! I love that you're also using uh. You're using a, like Sculpey clay. That's super fun, the oven bake kind. Thanks for sharing. Oh, wow, is that, who is this? Oh, that's Emma. Emma. Oh, wait, that's, um, wait, no, who is this? Wait, Samantha. that's Samantha. Sorry, Samantha. I see your face now, Samantha. <laughs> Sorry, Samantha. Um, that's amazing. That's a, like a husky, right? That's beautiful. Yeah. What, so what did you do to get the, the shading around his head? Tell me what materials you're using. Watercolor pencils. Okay, that's incredible. And then what did you go over over it with? Like Sharpie or? Um, no, I used this Ahuhu, um, I think it's acrylic. No, art marker, it's just an art marker. Okay, that looks amazing though. I really like, uh, you were telling me, didn't you do like a whole series of like, you spent like a week doing pets or animal, like dogs? Yeah, so you have a lot of experience. I remember this now. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. love it. It like I said, I think I said this before, but that that week of doing um, just dogs really paid off. Like your dogs look awesome, look really awesome, very realistic. Thank you for sharing with us. Here's Hi, Kate. Kate. You wanna you wanna see? Can we see what you're working on? Oh, it's a little hard to see. Can you bring it a little close? Oh, now I see it. Oh, what a cute rabbit. He's so cute. I love him. How are you going to, how are you going to, are you going to color him at all? Or is he, he, he's actually white, isn't he? Yeah, because he's white, I'm probably just going to outline him and maybe color his eye. Ooh, I have an idea. You could also cut him out, like a cut around him and glue him onto a different color paper so that he stands yeah, out. that would be cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Is there anybody else who wants to share their work in progress? Not yet. We still, still, everything's still in progress. <laughs> Everybody's still working. No worries. Let's see. Oh, is that a, is that a hand? Um, or I can't tell. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Okay, I think that's just, I think it looks, maybe it's just stretching. I, <laughs> Kaden, are you trying to share? Are you trying to share? Maybe. Maybe he is trying to share. <laughs> okay. Like, we couldn't tell, your, uh, your background is glitchy. Let's see, oh. Okay, Kaden, we're, we're gonna come back to you. To share, I think you have to turn your filter off because it like, it, you can't, we can't see what you're working on. So if you want to share, you got, you got to turn that filter off. Okay. I, I saw, I saw your fish for a brief second and it looked really cool. 
can now, I can hear now. Okay, let's go back to him. Oh, there, uh, kind of. Uh. <laughs> okay, I can see it. Nice. That looks awesome. Are you going to add a back? You should add a background to him. Where is that fish? I guess I he. Add a background. I can't move that much, but I'm going to add a background. Awesome. Very cool. I love it. I like the colors you picked for him. Okay. Thank okay. you. Here's Liliana and Heather Rose. Oh, let's see, girls. Um, uh, I've done two so far. I'm still working on one, so I don't think I can hold it. Um, oh, he's a little shrimp, right? It's a green shrimp named Iceberg. <laughs> I love the name. That's amazing. <laughs> and he's so cute. I got so far. Ooh, nice use of watercolor there. I really like the, your your animals look really nice. I can tell that I like how you're, you're especially how the um you're making the watercolor darker, like in the curves of like of their um where their their legs are. That looks awesome. Thank really nice job. You are, are you working on the third little one over there? Yeah. So start, start of a head. Awesome. Very cool. No wait, thank you. I finished. Yeah. So I I still, yeah. A little rabbit with his little tail. Oh, he's so cute. What a cute little rabbit. He's super cute. You have time. You have time to give your rabbit something. Uh, something to, to play with. You could, uh, or, or either make another, another little, you could make a baby rabbit or you could, um, give him a, give him a rabbit toy, maybe make a carrot for him. <laughs> yeah. Awesome job. I I have enough. Yeah. If you have enough, do it. Okay. a couple more people I'm so I'm like really impressed at the range of materials that people are using people doing collage people painting people doing play people doing uh, drawing people like all sorts of all sorts of cool materials ah I, I just asked my husband what about his lizard it was a savannah monitor lizard and his name was Godzilla <laughs> And apparently monitor lizards get to be very, very big. Godzilla. Go ahead. How big did it become? You know, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. How big did it get? Let's see if he responds. He's, he's typing back. I'll get a response in a second. He says it got to be about 16 inches, which, all right, so this ruler is 12 inches. <laughs> and you add another four on top of that. He said maybe 18 inches. So that's actually, oh, so that's the size, 18 inches. See this, this big piece of paper here? I'll switch, I'll switch cameras. So see this paper? This paper is 18 inches long. So that's as long uh, as his lizard got. <laughs> so that's that's actually that's huge. That's really huge. And apparently he's he's telling he's telling me stories. He said that he would break out of his cage and he'd poop in his brother's room, <laughs> and then it would smell really bad. <laughs> and then he'd save his poops until he could break out of his cage. <laughs> Oh, that's a smart lizard. Wow, Samantha, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. What an awesome dog drawing. I love it. He looks so happy. He looks so proud. Very cool. You should add some color to that one, too. Thanks for... <laughs> Thanks for sharing. It looks awesome. Looks really, really good. Oh, um, I'm just going to remind everybody real quick, because so, I see a bunch of comments uh, about 
games. Um, it's totally fine. You can talk to each other about games, but we're saving our chat for comments about the art, okay? So I know I forgot to tell you guys that again at the, the beginning of class, but we're, we're trying to, um, the, the, the public chat should be, um, should be comments about, uh, about your pets, about your art, um, could be questions. But if you have a question about like a game or something, you can always privately message the person you want to talk to. Okay. Just trying to keep the chat clean because, or and clear because it, it gets really confusing. <laughs> it gets really confusing when there's multiple conversations going on at once. So the public chat should be about art. Samantha, let's see what's up. I actually didn't do this this year. I did this last year and I just wanted to share it. Baby Groot. Aww, what a cute baby Groot. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. What yeah, not I didn't copy anything. What an awesome drawing. That's amazing. You yeah, I did that a year ago. That's awesome. Very cool. Yep. Um, oh, I see two. Who was it that had their hands raised? Um, oh. Charlotte. Charlotte, hi. Um, this is my bear uh, and flowers. <gasps> wow. I love him. He's so cute. What my do you want? Oh, my watercolors um, are not working with me today. They're not. Do you know, um, do you know one trick with watercolors is try, I call it waking them up. So whatever color you want to use, take some clean water and put it in the tray and just let it sit for a minute, okay? And it helps to wake the color up. Try it. See if that'll, see if that'll help, okay? All right. Thanks, thanks for sharing. Soren, did you want to share? Okay. Show us. How are you doing, Soren? How are your uh, How are your drawings going? So I'm ready to share. Let's see. I drew Ron Garfield and Audi. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh! Is Garfield on the hunt for some lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> your Odie is so cute too. He's super cute. I, yeah, Odie was I think I drew Odie best. Yeah, Odie is pretty Odie, he's pretty good. I, your drawing is really awesome. Like he really does look like Odie for sure. Nice job. Do you read do you read the Garfield comics? I don't read Garfield comics, but I do watch Garfield sometimes, so yeah. Nice. Awesome. And I kind of love that cat named Normal who always annoys Garfield. <laughs> yeah. Like, did you watch the one where, like, that that Normal basically, like, becomes king? He pretends to, like, break his leg? No, I didn't. I've actually never seen the cartoon. I've only ever read the the the, the original comic strips for Garfield. <laughs> but that's cool. I'll have to check it out. But your drawings look just like him. <laughs> I love that you chose, I love that you chose a co the comic book uh, characters to draw. It's very, it's very you, Soren. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Is there anybody else who would like to share? Oh. Oh, sorry. So, Hi. and you wanted, ah, I got it on my chin. Okay. <laughs> it's a sign that's very hard. Share. Okay. It says my camera turned around. There we go. So this is his lizard in progress. Wow! Look at that lizard. That's awesome. Way to go! How but, how how old is your brother? He five. is five. Wow! That's that's an amazing lizard you've got going on there. Very cool. This is my mug bear. It's kind of modeled after a uh, mug bear squishy my sister has. Okay. Awesome. And then gonna... this is Laura's um, cat so far. It looks kind of like me. <laughs> cute. Super cute. Awesome. Very cool, girl. Very cool, uh, guys. Soccer boy. Oh, yes. It's a soccer playing lizard because he wanted it to be a soccer playing oh, lizard. Oh, a soccer playing lizard. Awesome. Are you going to give him a little soccer ball? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love that your whole family's doing clay. Very cool. Good work. 
good work, family. Well, except for Charlotte. She's That's okay. That's okay. I love that you're all doing art then. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Um, we have just a few minutes left. Is there anybody who would like to share their works? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see your, what animal did you do? Oh, <gasps> look at this awesome turtle. Oh my gosh, where is he? Oh wait, I don't think your sound is on. I'm unable to unmute them. Oh, oh wait, fish, you got it. Tell us, where is, where's your turtle? So it's on the sand and it's going to the sea. And this is the sky laying down. Oh, wow. Is it a baby turtle or is it a, like a grown-up turtle? Grown-up turtle. Grown-up turtle, nice. Yeah, they, they like, they, they, they come up and they like lounge on the sand. The babies are in the bottom sea with the dad. Yeah. Oh, very cool. I love, and I love the purple, the purple sky. It's like, um twilight like a moment like, one red because uh, i was trying to make black but it was no black in mine so oh because oh, you want it to be night well it looks like it's either about to be nighttime or it's like dawn so it's about to be daytime um it's like, when it's nighttime it glow up like black and then some red okay well your turtle looks super happy i like how you did the lines on his shell or her shell. Oh, really good work. Awesome. I love that you did a turtle too. You're you're the only one who did a turtle. So very original idea. <laughs> Thanks this for sharing. I'm trying to make a whale, but it turned out to be a turtle. <laughs> that's awesome. I love I love that you can switch it up in the middle. That's great. Like that's that's the sign of a true artist is that when you're like working it's and you're same like same thing like you but not with the sky like Okay, <laughs> I love it. You, that's a you were you were working with the problems. That's a, that's what a real artist does. Is when they when they encounter a challenge, they 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 have to like think creatively and come up with a different solution. And that's what you did. Uh, I mostly do cardboarding things, and I make up my own thing. And I own, I made a cardboard city. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. I've always wanted to do a whole cardboard city. That's really, really neat. Like, I, did you do like all the different stores, building? Stores, like coffee shop I made with those things that you hold on and you have to grab them. Very cool. Very cool. That's awesome. I love that. I love that idea. That, that gives me ideas for classes to teach. Thank you for sharing. Awesome, good work. Oh, Afna, Afna, let's see. Afna, show us your art. Oh, look at that chick. It's, it's a girl and she has a bow tie. A <laughs> I do, I see her little bow tie. Did you put a real feather on top of her head? Yes. <laughs> so cute. That's such a cute little chick. I love her. She's so, so cuddly. Little chicks are really the sweetest little things. Yeah, I love when I grow up to have one. Oh, I love it. Awesome work. Beautiful. Very cute drawing. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Next up is Isaac. Hey, Isaac. How are you doing? Hey there. Um, just about finished. Thanks, that's, I tried to do more with that. Yeah, I, you can tell. That's really neat. Were you working from your, just straight from your imagination? No, I had a, I used a reference image. Reference, yeah, that's what, when you're, when I'm drawing an insect like that, I, I probably would too. But yeah, you nailed, you nailed his like, his legs. I can almost hear him chirping and his face. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Even the like insectoid eye. Really nice yeah. drawing. Really, really nice drawing. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Uh, I like the cricket, the choice of cricket too. It was a unique choice. Very cool. All right, thank you. Oh, hi, girls. You want to share? What pets did you? Oh, look at that cat. Look at that. Oh, look at those big eyes. He's got some big, big eyes. Does he? Does she? He or she have a name? Have a name. 
the kids. <laughs> <laughs> have a cat oh. and then have fish. <laughs> oh, there's the cat and is oh the cat's definitely looking at that fish right now. With his eyes. <laughs> we, actually, we actually have a dog. Oh, do you? <laughs> I love I love your 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 fish collage with you even added in like, the fish food next to it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's his name. Wait, what does the name say? Can you read it for me? It says, Mr. Fishy. Mr. Fishy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You guys are a pair. Fish and your cat. So cute. Thanks for sharing Mr. Fishy with us. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Samantha. I was going to try to show them Sparky. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, he looks, if I encountered him in real life, I'd be freaked out. <laughs> yeah, it's a Komodo dragon. Yeah, that's crazy. Look at that. That's really cool. Did you just draw that right now, or is that something you had from before? I just drew it. That's awesome. Wow, what an awesome drawing. Like the, I like how you did the, the, the you, got, you nailed the shape of the tail curving around, um, and like how it, it like tapers off to like a thin point at the top. That's awesome. Very cool. He looks thank you. Pretty in uh reptilian. Hi. Hey, yeah. let's see. Oh wait, there was another turtle. I didn't know there was another turtle. Wow. Well, tell me about so tell me what materials were you using to make this, this turtle? Oh, your sound is off. Um, gel pens. I use gel pens. Ooh, nice. I love it. I like the like the texture that you got in the um in his shell. What are they what are they standing on? Are they just boulders or rocks? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Are they a family? Is it like a mom and a baby or a dad and baby? Mom and dad? You don't know, <laughs> just a big one and a little one. <laughs> awesome, really nice drawing. I really like that. I and mean, gel pens was a, a really cool choice. Like I said before, I love all the different materials that people have chosen. Thank you for sharing. Oh, look at that bunny. Nice oh, job. Okay. And then I also have another one that I drew a couple days ago. It's, it's Olaf. Oh, what a great little Olaf. I like it. You signed your work. Nice. Hey, go back to the bunny for a second. I want to see the bunny one more time. Oh, he's so cute. I like how you colored him. Did you, yeah, that's super cute. I like that. It's hard to tell, but did you do a little shading on the top? Yeah, on the top, I did a tiny bit. Yeah, I like it. That adds like a really nice dimension to the, to the bunny. Very cool. Thanks. Very, very cool. Awesome. Awesome work. Okay. Here's Charlotte. Hi. Hi, Charlotte. Um, now this is what I've done so far. Awesome. How did the waking up of the watercolor work? Did that help a little bit? Um, I'm actually mixing colors, but it did help um, the colors actually come off onto my brush better. Yeah, that's a, that's what someone, when I, I, when we're using watercolor, I'll always like on my tray, if I have a watercolor tray, I'll, I'll choose what colors I'm using, and before I paint with them at all, I'll, um, I'll add water into them just to wake them up. All right, thanks for sharing. Awesome work. You're welcome. Okay. All right. There. Oh, it is 11 o'clock, so is there anybody who hasn't shared who would like to share their drawings? or their art. Oh, I see a hand. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see if you can get it to work. It's really, like I said, it's really tricky with uh, those filters. Whoa, you added so much. You added in, so I see, is that a treasure chest on the ground? Yeah. <laughs> what's, um, what's in the water? Is, is that like a cliff overhanging the water? Yeah, it's where the water comes in. Oh, it's like the waterfall? Okay. Cool. Very cool. I like that you gave him a pirate a pirate chest. 
<laughs> so just in case he ever he ever needs he ever needs like uh, some some gold coins, some doubloons. Thanks for sh yeah, that's awesome. I like that you added color. It looks way more finished now. There's a parachute too. That's where the chest came. Oh, I see it. Cool. Very cool. Awesome. Awesome work. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Here's Emmer. Oh, hey, Emmer, let's see. So I started my. Look um, at that seahorse. Wow. I love the water. You're using watercolors, right? I'm using like watercolor pens. Oh, those are those are awesome. Those like you can get into tiny pots with those. Though that's and beautiful. Other day I also drew this. Oh, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. The colors in that. No Emma, whale. Whoa, wait, hold up that whale. Oh my gosh, Emma, you are talented. Those are amazing. That whale. Were you? I have a question. Were you looking at uh, pictures of whales when you drew that whale? Um, sometimes. Yeah. For the whale. Um, not really, but the sea turtle, I kind of looked at a picture to get the shell. Yeah, the shape of the shell. That's amazing. And the colors are amazing. You used the, were those all done with those watercolor pens? Yeah, I have like a palette oh, and then two watercolor pens. Those are very cool. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Those are really amazing, amazing paintings. I can't wait to, when you come back, you'll have to show us the finished, uh, uh, the finished, um, seahorse. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for, thanks for sharing. Really nice work. Let hey, let's see, bros. let's see girls. Um, okay. So we did quite a bit. Um, here's my first picture. Yeah. You showed us the shrimp. Awesome. Uh, here's my second. Whoa. Wait, what's he holding? A sword. He's like super mouse with like a cape. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior mouse, actually. Warrior mouse. Okay, warrior mouse. Ooh, who is this? It's a coyote. Oh, coyote. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It says coyote. Awesome. Here's a, a a fox. Fox. Okay. What color is the tip of the fox's tail? Is it white? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, here's a butterfly. Oh my gosh, you girls were prolific. You did a lot. <laughs> uh, I drew my clay model of an uh, alien. <laughs> From the other day. That's cool. Awesome. All right. You're running out of animals. Or you're running out of pets. So you're like, I'm just going to do my alien pet. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I did everything on the paper, but here we go. Oh, wow. So I did two pictures of ferrets, one picture of a fox, uh -huh. a picture of a cat, a Pomeranian, Aww. Uh, a little, I don't know what that is, raccoon thing. Raccoon. It looks like a raccoon to me. A mouse. Oh, what's that? Warrior mouse. Wow, warrior mouse yeah. looks so dignified holding that, that, that sword. Fox, and then this guy. <laughs> Was that your alien? Yeah. <laughs> What's the one on the bottom corner with the wing? Uh, it's a fox. <laughs> Wait, that oh, that's a fox down there? Oh, okay. Yeah. But, um, I, I gave it strange colors. That's oh, fun. okay. Wait, hold up. I want to see your warrior mouse one more time. Warrior mouse is amazing. That, that little guy, the way that his cape is blowing back. You, you girls should work with um, watercolor more. Like, I love, I, you have, you're of a, you have a hand for it. I love it. Really nice work. Really Thank nice you. work. Okay. All right. Um, last call for anybody who wants to share. We're pa way past time today. Okay. So Benji's um, lizard is almost done. We'll paint it tomorrow, and maybe I can show it to you on Monday. That's a great idea. Oh, look at his soccer lizard. <laughs> We're adding spikes now. Oh, awesome detail! That definitely makes him really look like a like a like a like a lizard, for sure. And texture. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Nice t tools for adding texture. Yeah. Yeah. These are for our polymer clay, but we can't use it until tomorrow because we have to get something for okay. it. Okay. So we decided to use the air dry clay. Yeah, the air dry clay is awesome. Like, yeah. I hope that uh, I hope that you'll be able to paint them. But the, the, that lizard looks great. All right. 
Thank you for sharing. All right. Um, I see. I see one more hand, and then oh, I think we have to go. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, Kaden. I'm done. With the, I'm done. You're finished. I'm finished. Okay. Let's see. You bend it a little. Nice. Awesome. What did you add from last time? Oh, you just colored in the last bit. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you for sharing. That looks awesome. Very, very cool. I love it. Everybody did so many cool techniques. I saw such a range of materials. I saw such a range of ideas for pets. <laughs> and I'm really impressed with how creative you guys were. Really nice work. Um, we'll be back next week with a new lineup. I have to decide what we're doing today. Um, but it'll be posted either probably tomorrow. So I hope, hope I get to see you guys come back. Really nice work. Nice. I'll, I'll see you guys later. See you next week. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.